gonna be really honest, I've never seen it before in person. I didn't know why I would need it. So I watched a presentation of this exact turbo pump and I went, why would anybody not need this? So really, I invite you to stay if you're watching and you go, turbo pump, I don't really need that. Give us about a minute and a half and we will show you why every household should have one of these. This is a lower price than you can get on their website, $16.95. We just lowered this yesterday. I looked at it, it was $20.45. So we've taken $4 off today, which is, did I do the math right? No, $4.50, um, which is a really great deal. And Lou Capoto is laughing at me right now, doing the math in my I head. Am. I am um, laughing. Hi. <laughs> hi, Lou. This is a, a really cool solution to be able to move. I think of it as moving liquid from pump. one place to another. That's exactly what it does. Yeah. When I was young yeah. and my dad was doing the siphoning, the gas yeah. siphoning. We've all done that. That he was like, do as I say, not as I do. Never do this is what he right. said. Right, right. Well, here, take a look at this video. This animation will show you how this works. It's what we call a transfer pump. It's going to transfer any liquid. It could be water. It could be gas. It could be oil. It doesn't matter. But it's going to move that fuel quickly, efficiently, quietly from one place to the other. And it's neat. And when I mean uh, neat, it's not dirty. It's not slopping water all over the place. I mean, you can use it to fill your generators, your ATVs. I mean, anything that you wanted. You can put wiper fluid into your car. All these different things that you can do. Now, this is the unit I'm holding right here in my hands. It's very, very simple to use, okay? So this part of the unit is where the motor is. It uses three AA batteries. Um, it is 20 inches long. There's an on-off switch on the top right there, okay? The hose on this is 40 inches long. So you've got a nice long hose that okay. you can put into uh, buckets and things like that. On the bottom of this, if I hold it up like this, right here is what we call an impeller. When I turn it on, you can see that little guy starts spinning inside of it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's very, very quiet. That's what's gonna suck up the water. It'll move two and a half gallons of water every minute. Okay, watch how this works. Wow. We've, we've got a sink here that's full. Now, if you've got a clogged drain and you wanna get in there and you gotta do some work, okay, mm -hmm. what are you gonna do? Buckets, cups, yeah. I mean, where's this water going, okay? I was just in that situation with a bathtub that had backed up and it yeah. was this full of water and I was like, well, to pour the drain cleaner in there, you have to get the water out, You gotta out, get right? the water out. This yeah. is perfect, watch this. Okay, so this has obviously got water in it. We've got a little bucket here. Now, there's one thing I didn't tell you about and I'll do it as I turn this on. It's already starting to move that water as you can see right here, okay? Now, in the tip of this, there is a little sensor that when the water touches that, it will automatically shut off. So you're never going to overfill anything. You don't have to babysit this. It's not gonna create another problem. It's not you. gonna create another problem. Then <laughs> watch, so now you can see it's moving a lot of water, it's going very quickly. As soon as that water gets up to the tip, and that's, it doesn't matter if it's in your gas tank, it's in a container or anything, just like a gas pump would do. When it's full, it'll know, it'll turn itself off. So here it comes, watch this. It gets to the end and it stopped. It just turned Whoa. itself off, just like that. So See? as long as it Boom. senses it, it stops. Yeah, now, now every time I pull it out of the water, it's gonna turn itself on again, but here, we'll just put it over here. But so you can see the way that works. It yeah. turns itself off once it senses that its water touches it. Let's do another practical uh, demonstration right here. You stay right there. We'll do another <laughs> practical. He's not listening to you. <laughs> practical demonstration. Fish tanks, if you own a fish tank, you know you gotta change that water every once in a while to keep the fish healthy. Sure. How are you doing it now? Because back in the day, what I used to do is use a pitcher, take all that water, walk it back and forth yeah. across the room, try not to spill it, right? And then try to pick up the fish tank and carry the rest of it and dump it out. No. This is not a great idea, okay? Mm -hmm. Watch what we can do with the turbo pump. And again, we've got the water going into a fine gallon bucket right here, and it's gonna shut itself off. I'll turn it on. And remember, we're moving two and a half gallons of water every minute. I'm not breaking my back, I'm not breaking a sweat, I'm just standing here talking to you. Yeah, exactly. And it's just doing it and it's doing it quietly. I've used this more than I ever thought I would and I'll tell you how I've used it. The drip pan for my air conditioner filled with water. Right. In the drip pan there's a, what we call a float switch. When it gets okay. full, it turns itself off. Your air conditioner will. So my air conditioning of a couple weeks ago wasn't working. Uh, okay? In Florida? In Florida. Oh. <laughs> I went up in my attic, right? That's where our air conditioners are here. I used my turbo pump, I emptied it out, air conditioner came right back on. Then I also had to clean out the, the, the line that goes outside yeah. the house, that's a whole nother story. Mm. But what did I used to do? Uh, step ladder with a shop vac. Not yeah. safe no. and not easy. No, and this is lugging, simple. right? I mean, it's lugging. like a giant big lugging thing. Lugging. This will also turn itself off, so you didn't even have to babysit it. Yep. You know that it's going to turn itself off when it gets full. $16.95, wow. best price you can find anywhere. Good thing there are no fish in there. I know, We're at, you know what? Before <laughs> it turns itself off, I'm actually gonna just suck this whole thing dry. There's gonna be nothing in there, and it might get up to it. 
Maybe. No, it's not good. There's not enough water so in the fish tank. So it only turns but itself off that. once the water hits that Once sensor. the water hits that sensor. Well, here's a okay. great example right here. Okay, take a look at these two uh, beakers that we have here, these mm -hmm. two um, columns. Okay, watch this. Watch how quickly the water transfers from one to the other. But this is a great demonstration of how, now look, here are my hands. I'm not touching it. But watch what's going to happen here in just a couple of seconds. The water's going to reach. It's actually going really fast. The water's going to reach right there. And here it comes. Wait for it. And it shut it, and again, we ran out of water, but it, it would, once it touches that, it's gonna shut itself off. It's that simple. If there was more water in there, it would have shut itself off. We we'll have really to put water cool. in this one too next time. Well, and then this is one of the ones that people are going to use it for a lot. So there you can see it siphoning the gas out of the gas tank. That's the one that's so dangerous, of course. So if you um, if you've got a gas tank, chances are you may have to use it at some point. It's sixteen dollars and ninety five cents. It's about three dollars and thirty cents to get it home today because everything is on five flex. Whether you're draining that extra that that extra water in a sink or a backed up bathtub like I had to, or you're trying to get uh, a little bit of fuel into your car, no more siphoning. This is that really safe option to be able to do. You know what else people really love to use this for is winterizing. So if you have to get the gas out of, see, that's what he's doing right there. If you have to get the gas out of uh, an, an SUV or a, a a lawnmower or something, this is the way to do it because you can't really store it in really cold water, uh, cold weather without being able to winterize it and take all of that gas out. Safe to be able to use. It doesn't matter if it's gas or water or whatever it is. We're showing you how you could take gas from one tank to another. One of the things that I thought I could use it with that would be a great idea is uh, I actually tried to put washer fluid in my car, got it everywhere. I ended up having to take it to the dealer I could have used this, it would have been so easy. Just the push of a button and it will instantly transfer that water two and a half gallons in just a minute. All right, we're gonna move. Oh, Lou, where did 